Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Now, I'd mentioned earlier that I was going to try to do a video uh, later, and I'm just going to do it now since things seem to be uploading rather quickly. Of course, that could change. But I wanted to cover a couple of points in this video. And the first one was a viewer, Alex, had uh, <coughs> mentioned that instead of dying, we just shift from place to place and switch places, and the other version of ourselves goes through the same thing we're going through. Um, and you know what? You might be right. I mean, because that, that's a tricky one. Because, yeah, I mean, if an infinite you dies, they would shift, and they would go through the Mandela effect. If you died, you would shift and go through the Mandela effect. That's what I think. At no point do I think that our energy, and by the way, that's what I think a lot of people have called souls, is our energy signature. And of course, that's not going to change. That's a wave. That's an energy wave. That's going to remain constant. You can't destroy that. It's just going to keep going and going and going like the, like the Energizer Bunny. So, no, I don't think we lose our souls or our energy at all. It just transfers. And if you ran out of use, because even in infinity, again, you know, our bodies will only hold out so long anyway. I think you would just be reborn and the, the cycle would start over, but it would still be your energy signature and much like I have. Um, I believe you can access memories of things you had done in previous incarnations in the same, uh, you know, probability waves. So I think that's an interesting point. No, I don't think you lose any energy. I don't think your soul, as they call it, gets lost. And I watched the video he provided, and it brought up a very interesting point. And it's made, it supports our theory of the multiple uh, realities, in fact, infinite realities, in our opinion, me and my fiance. And we've, we've made a model, as most of you know, for that. And those guys are so smart and that <sighs> where they don't think that it works the same way on our level i think we just can't perceive it or we do perceive it but it's as mandela effects i, I don't know that we could perceive that like i said the infinite probability wave we couldn't but i think that it works the same way at our level. I think the particles still shift. I think we still shift. All right. And those guys, um, basically, I, if I'm to understand them correctly, say that it doesn't work exactly that way on our level. But I, 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 I disagree with them there. I think it does. And I think we perceive it as Mandela effects and of the like. Um, but. I guess what I'm getting at here is I think it works the same at our level, not just at the quantum level, because we are, in fact, made up of quantum particles. All right. These guys are and, and they've got and, and so I think that's going on. OK, guys, and I'm going to come out with another video, probably with some more charts on this or maybe an amended list. But uh, the next thing I wanted to get into uh, in this video was the fact that they were basically saying, if I'm to understand it correctly, that as long as these quantum computers are operating, they're exchanging information. They're exchanging information with all these uh, parallel realities they're in contact with, unless they shut that down. So depending on how many quantum computers they have, um, as long as these things are running, it would be exchanging information. All right, that's important because, as I said in my previous video, uh, quantum calculations, it could, you could see Mandela effects without necessarily shifting. And um, 
this particular video seems to um, support that uh, theory. So it's interesting. I think I'm going to post the link to the video that he showed me. It's it, it like he said, it repeats at the halfway mark. If anybody can, I, I watch the whole thing right through the questions myself because you know, I wanted all the information I could get. So um, anyway, that's that's pretty much the point of this video. I'm going to post that link that he posted me so that you guys can uh, check it out for yourselves. And I wanted to address the souls, and I did that. And I wanted to address the fact that since we're made of quantum particles, I think those guys are so smart that they may be missing the fact that, of course, it would work that way at our level. And you'd have Mandela effects, or quantum effects. It's a bad word for it, I know. It has nothing to do with Nelson Mandela, so... And I should also acknowledge that I was informed that I missed some evidence that Perry Saturn was uh, falsely reported dead. And I didn't realize that. I didn't watch TMZ. And I, for all the searching I did, I couldn't find anything. So thank you very much. And I forget the viewer now, but I, whoever, I really appreciated that. That's super awesome that uh, I wasn't just losing my mind. There was, in fact, <laughs> evidence out there. So um, that's it for now, guys. I wanted to uh, get my thoughts out there on these while they were fresh in my mind, and I will see what I can uh, come up with for a follow-up video to all this. I'll have to put piece some of my previous videos together and make some amendments, most likely. So thanks now for now, guys. Thanks for all your thumbs up, your thumbs down. Thanks for your comments and all the information that gets posted in the comments. It better informs me of the things I'm talking about and what I'm dealing with. So, And thanks again for all you guys' subscriptions. And so for now, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And you guys have a great rest of your day.